welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we have a stamping video. Um, now one of uh, my subscribers asked me about um, some, sorry I'm just getting my acetone ready. Um, she asked me about some of the manis I was wearing. I was wearing two different ones and um, she asked me if I had a video for them. I said no and um, so I told her I would re recreate them. So um, this is the first one um, and it will, um, I'll try and if I can't insert it in this video, um, the picture coming up next, I will put it on the end. But um, I'm gonna try my editing skills and see if I can insert it here. Okay, so um, first off, I have this. Um, I'm not doing it exactly the same as the previous picture, um, just because I wanted to kind of switch it up. So, but it's the same idea. So first off, on my nails, I have OPIs, and this one is called Sailing and Nailing. So it's this pretty light blue. And um, next up, I will be using uh, this Born Pretty, it's Valentine's Day BPL001. And I'm gonna use this um, image here, it's the writing image. And actually the, the other Manny uh, that she asked me about uh, uh, was, I did this one, a reverse stamping. So I'll probably do that one on the next video. And thank you, Sue, for asking me to uh, do these videos. So it was kind of cool um, that you asked. And uh, yeah. And then the other stamping plate I'm gonna be using is this one. It's a CJS uh, collaboration with uh, Talia's Nail Tales and it's CJSLC13. And it's a layering uh, stamping plate. Okay, so first off, let's get started. So I don't wanna babble too much. So I'm just using a black stamping polish. And I'm gonna be using my Nail Stuff Stamper, because this stamper is just so awesome. And, and there we have it. So, so it's kind of, this Manny is kind of like one of those, um, I guess vintage type looking ones with the script. So, I just thought it was very romantic. Kind of thing okay so I'm just gonna line it up and hopefully I'm in frame do, do, do. I think I have another stamping the plate that has some writing on it, but I could, but I just didn't want to dig through all my um, polishes or like all my stamping plates right now. So, but uh, yeah, I've always wanted to try this Manny in for years and years, and I never did, and now I'm doing it two times in like a week or so, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So I just want to show you that it's actually kind of versatile. You can do it in different colors, you know, so it's it's got a very unique kind of look, but it's very versatile. Okay. So there we go. So 
I'm just going to clean up my nails and I'll be right back one moment. Okay, so I'm back and this is it cleaned up. So it looks very pretty. Okay, so now we are going to do the layering part. Now, this one does um, take a little bit of work trying to um, get them all, all the layers lined up. Um, I saw um, a video from uh, Glitter Shine Nails. She does a lot of different, um, C like she loves CGS. And originally I bought it for this image to do process stamping, which I still haven't done, um, but I will be doing that soon. But anyway, she's really, Glitter Shine Nails is really into um, CJS stamping plates. So I, um, she actually did a video the other day with this plate. So I was super excited. Um, but she suggested to go light, medium, and then dark. Um, you could probably do it the other way around, but um, it seemed to work for me the last time, so that's what I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna do this one here, and I guess I just opened all these, so I'm gonna use this purple, and it's a Born Pretty uh, 42861-7, then this um, Bundle Monster, and it's called El Dorado, and then this last uh, Born Pretty, and it's 42862-5. So they're all different shades of purple. So I am, so I'm gonna do light, medium, dark. So let's see how this goes. on this side so I didn't quite do it all on the nail just because I don't want to well it's a baby nail so I didn't want all the image to go so let's try the second one rid of what's on the image. I'm sorry if you can't see. I just, I want to, there we go. That looks pretty cool so far. When you're doing the layering, it's a little easier to see. And this stamper, Oh my god, it's like the best because it magnifies it. So if you have to do something like this, I like totally highly recommend this stamper. Because I don't know if you can see it, but it makes things so much easier to see. I'm just going to quickly clean this one up. I just want to show you how it looks. Okay, look at that. Isn't that cute? So I think it turned out pretty good. So one nice thing about these layering stamper or stamping plates is um, the color combos. Like I, um, my last one I did purple and pink. I think I like one rose was purple, one was pink, and like pink, purple, pink, purple kind of idea. Um, but, you know, so it, it's kind of cool because you can do whatever colors you really want to. This one I'm just going to do purple today. So, now the pickup on this wasn't the greatest, but I am not going to worry about it because I'm going to be layering over it. So... Um, I find with the bigger images, you have to scrape really, really lightly and, um, and just 45 degree and then just super light 
because otherwise um, it'll give you like big holes and it's very frustrating if you have big holes and that's the second one when I first got this plate because um, I, I got it because I was doing pr double process stamping and I got it for this clear image and that and I loved florals because there's a few brands that have the big open images but I love this one because it had all the florals and the leaves on it and um, florals and 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 that are are one of my favorite so it's really pretty so um, but I didn't find very many videos on YouTube showing this particular plate. So, and then when I saw one the other day, I'm like, when the, I'm like, oh my god! And when I bought it, I, I didn't really have, which was kind of funny. I didn't actually have like a lot of different um, stamping. Um, polishes like I had the basics but for layering stamping it's better if you have um, different shades so um, I actually started buying more stamping polishes and uh, my girlfriend Patty gave me an Amazon gift card for my birthday which was so awesome and um, I bought um, a, the Born Pretty stamping polishes, so I got a bunch of different shades. So I was like, ah, yay, I can use my CGS prints now. So, so stay tuned for more nannies. I've got a couple in mind I'd like to do. Now that I'm getting the hang, <laughs> the hang of this one, it's... Uh, this one okay okay so I'm just gonna finish the last couple off camera and I will be right back one moment okay so I'm back and I have top coated it and I absolutely love how it turned out now I probably could have done another flower on my thumb because my thumb's bigger, but oh well. But look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? So thank you very much, uh, Sue, for asking me how I did this many. Um, I was kind of glad that you showed or asked me. When I did it at the time, originally, um, it was late at night and I didn't bother filming. Um, but um, yeah, so... I'm glad I did it again and um, yeah so it's kind of cool that you can do this same Manny but in different colors so there's a lots of um, possibilities and you can do different flowers you can hand paint the flowers um, that kind of thing even so anyway I hope you enjoyed um, watching me stamp tonight I hope you are having a great day and uh, bye for now